This video is created based on the response received by one of the user uh, for the video which I uh, uploaded a long back uh, titled as how to send email with options in Power Automate. Now, when you send emails with options in Power Automate, you get an uh, option to send email to multiple users. Okay. Now, what happens is uh, if the first user responds, the entire workflow gets canceled and you will be only be registering the one response which you receive from the user. Now, the, uh, the user does not want that thing to happen. Like say, if you send this to say 15 users, then you should receive all the 15 responses and register that back into the system. So that's exactly what Mars is, uh, has mentioned in this comment that uh, I, send request to 15 of my friends to approve and select an option uh, only one can approve after the others get error that the workflow is completed or closed okay so basically the, what the user wants is like if that person is sending the request to 15 of this team members then all the 15 team members response should be registered okay now the default behavior of send email with option is, you know, uh, when a first response is received, the workflow gets completed. So the other users may not get a chance to provide a valid response. So uh, let's uh, see the problem statement first. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay. Now here, if you see uh, send email with options default behavior, as I mentioned to you, it allows an email to be sent with options embedded in email user can respond to options and it get registered back to the source. The problem with this approach is even if emails are sent to number of parties, only the option registered first by any user will be considered. The workflow gets cancelled and other users cannot register their response back. Now the problem statement is uh, a set of options to be presented to users. Now, when I say users means it is more than one. So it can be 15, it can be 20. Who can respond back with their responses? The response needs to be stored in an Excel document. So you collate all the responses, put that in an Excel document, and that's it, you know. Now, all users' response must be noted and not just one user's response. You send email with options. So that's what uh, we need to work on. So based on that request, I have uh, created a flow, you know. Now in that flow, I'm asking a basic simple question. You know, that simple question is uh, favorite food, okay? And I am presenting the user with four options. So let's test this and see how it works, okay? So let me test it manually. And for an example, I have three users. Now one is Girish, second is Alex, and third is Adele, okay? Now, I've sent, run this workflow. Now I should be receiving an email uh, based on the questions presented to me. So I'll be the first user. Uh, and there are like other users like, now if you see here, I'm in Alex inbox. Alex has received this email. Alex is, it says, select one of the options below to respond. Okay, what is your favorite food? So let's say Alex says pasta. And Alex's response has been successfully registered. Let's go to Adele. Adele will also receive a response, uh, receive a, an email. And Adele will say Sado. Okay. So Sado has been registered. And I will pick up Sipiriani. Okay. As a response. Now, all the three users' response has been registered. Now, what I've done like once all the users have responded i have sent an email to myself getting all the responses back okay but our goal was to put all this information in onedrive excel okay now if i go to onedrive uh, i should technically see uh, one file which is getting generated over here it might take a while for the data to populate so once this is generated i can open this file okay and then this file should have the all the three responses. Now, if you don't see responses, you may see in a while, as you saw that there was only one record shown, but now after a while it showed three record because it, it takes time to write this file and store it in OneDrive. Now, that's what our goal was, you know, and we have achieved that goal. So this is what was requested by the user. And then this is all the responses from the user has been recorded. Now, how did we achieve that? That's the question. So let's go into the flow first. 
Okay, so there are multiple options happening over here. First thing, we need to create a file in OneDrive. Okay, second, you need to loop through the responses. Okay, now I have taken a manually trigger a flow option. Okay, so let me edit this flow. So what happens is like I trigger this flow manually. You can make it automated, scheduled, uh, or based on some uh, action. Okay. Now this is a simple trigger. Okay, it doesn't do anything fancy. You just click on a button. There is one variable which is email array. Okay, which is of type array, and it will take all the email address of the user to which you need to send an email. Okay. Now. You can pick up any uh, number of email address. I've just picked three. Okay, then this is good. Then we have where result initialized. Now this is where all the result will store. Okay, now the what is the result? Result is email address and the responses. Okay, now there is no initial value. That's fine. Okay, let's go and build OneDrive uh, Excel file. Okay, now create Excel file in OneDrive. So you need to make use of get file content. Okay, now. Remember, for this application to work, what you need to do is like you need to go into OneDrive, pick up any folder what you want and create one file, blank file. The black file will have nothing in it. It will just have my and name the file anything like I named it my Excel.xlsx. So this file is needed. OK, now why it is needed is just for composing activity. OK, now here when you say get file content, you need to select that file. So which I have selected that file from my OneDrive. Once you do that, you create a file and you pick up any path. I picked the root part of my OneDrive. Okay. And then I, the name of the file, I have renamed it based on the date time UTC now. Okay. You can pick up any name. Okay. File content is the body of the file content. Okay. So I have selected that. Now the file has been created. Now within an Excel file, now the Excel file which we have created, now this is a table. You know, if you see here, this is actually a table. Okay. Now the table name is called a survey response. Okay. You can name it anything. I just named it survey response. Now within an Excel, there is a table we have created. Now that thing, if you see here, the table name is survey response. Okay. Location is OneDrive for business. Document library is OneDrive. The file is the ID of create file from where which we have created. So that's the ID of this table range. Now I just need two columns. So the notation is dollar A1 colon dollar B1. So if you see here A1 B1. So that's what it says the limit for that particular table. So that we need to default it. So if you have five options, you can put uh, if you have five columns, then you can put A1 to E1. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's how you represent the table range. Column names, user email response. Now remember, this is important. Whatever name you pick, this will form the result where result array initialization value. Okay, so user email comma user response. Okay, now because I'm only collecting two values, so user email and the user response. Okay, now we have created Excel file in OneDrive. So this is all fine. Now, what we do is like we loop through the uh, email address, right? loop through the email address and send out an email. Now this one, send email with options. Now remember this send email with options. What happens is like if you select this uh, question, you know, subject, user options, you know, whatever things you put over here and loop through that through where email array because you need to send this uh, email with option to multiple users. Then what might happen is like this will run and then it will wait for the first user to respond. So for that not to happen, what you may need to do is like maybe under this apply to each, if I go into the setting, I have turned on the concurrency control. I made it 20. So I'll assume that I will send this response to less than 20 users. But if you want more, you can increase it accordingly. OK, so this is an important step. Else what might happen is like uh, the user email response email will be sent uh, one by one. OK, but we don't want that to happen. We want all the responses, uh, all the email to be sent to all the users at once. OK, so that's an important step. Then what you do is you collect the individual responses. Now here you're forming that uh, array. OK, now 
this is an array actually okay now this is just array with one element okay why i say this is an array because this is like the format user email user response now you know from where this is coming user email user response we have created a table and we said that column name is user email comma user response now you need to use that same text okay and user email is current item what you are looping through and user responses like the you get a response basically uh let me show me let me show you this is how it looks so send email with options will give you selected option and user email address okay once that is done you append response to array variable because you need to have a continuous string of array variable now if this is the first response then you need to append it to array variable now how do i do is like i use like a uh, append response to array variable i pick up the variable name and i add that output of the response okay so if you see this output this is individual responses okay now we have collected all this value or we have collected all the responses then what we loop the result and write in excel now remember this two step okay this two step is we can't merge it it has to be separate okay now why this has to be separate because we don't know when the user is going to respond back okay so that's why we have created a separate so this is an apply to each loop it is taking the value from the where result array and it is just adding a row into the table now if you see add a row into the table it is the location is OneDrive for business document library is OneDrive. file is the id of the file which you have created using the create file options table is the custom value now this table value is uh, the one which you mentioned that while creating an excel file you have said that you are creating a table now you need to pick that value and the row is the current item now the last two options are optional i've just created an html table out of that where result array and i'm sending an email to myself with that table okay so that's it folks this is all about collecting a responses multiple responses from multiple users okay uh, and uh, storing this file in OneDrive. So the resultant OneDrive file, uh, which is in Excel, uh, will look like this. Okay, so that means these are the email addresses which you have sent, and these are the responses we receive. Now make sure the only catch with this approach is there are two catches. One catch is you send out an email to all. You know, now you this Excel file will not get generated until and unless all the user responds back okay so you will not get that result because it the workflow will be in a hanging state and then this file will not get generated that is one second thing is now this is a concurrent approach so uh, we need to be very careful that it has to be kind of like a uh, proper uh, response mechanism being uh, set by an end users like say if someone responds in that fraction of second uh, alongside multiple users, then quite possibly you may lose out some record. I haven't tested it, but I, this is what I uh, doubt with this approach. Okay, but uh, the things get done. You know, like this is what you need to get collect the response from the user, so you can go ahead and use this. Now, if you want the source code, do let me know. Uh, I will share across this uh, solution. Uh, in in some repository yeah so that's it folks thanks for watching